Hi, welcome to our presentation on digital learning and how we're incorporating that into our teaching and learning at South Wilford. So where do we want to be? As a school, we are dedicated to breaking down barriers to learning. We want to provide the children with every opportunity to be happy and successful in their future. We pride ourselves on our ability to embrace change. and Our vision is to develop the use of this new technology to work in harmony with what we already do and maximise the learning opportunities within our global and ethical curriculum. We aim to move learning beyond the classroom and inspire and engage the children with innovative and brave approaches to learning. So how does it work? Well, each child will have their own personal iPad. Our vision is that uh, by the end of the year, uh, years two to six will all have their own personal iPad. Those iPads are then linked to the teacher centrally through Apple Classroom and uh, through a program called Show Me, which many of you are already familiar with. The iPads can be used to record learning or to uh, uh, work as an aid to learning. Uh, what we're going to explore during this presentation is the ways that we can do that. So what are the benefits? Well, there are many. Um, here are a few. Teachers can share the slides, the worksheets and the websites with the children directly to their own device. The teachers are facing the children. We don't have to turn around to write on the board anymore. We can teach from different parts of the room. We can stand next to an individual that might need a little extra help whilst also carrying on with the teaching uninterrupted. We can use the iPads as almost having an extra uh, teacher in the room by videoing ourselves at the start of the lesson or pre-recording explanations or pre-recording modelling, which the children can then return to during the lesson. The teachers can access the children's work remotely uh, and put it up on the big screen. We can share good examples with the other children and celebrate where they've done particularly good work. We can look at misconceptions together in the same way. Children can work at a, a pace that's appropriate to them. They can move on quicker if they need to, if they want to get onto a further challenge more quickly than they can do. They're not tied to the pace of the teacher. Um, also, if a child needs to return to something because they maybe need a little reminder of something that was taught at the beginning of the lesson, they can also do so. The slides are there right in front of them so that they can return to their own learning and actually become much more independent in their, in their thinking. This regular use of technology is obviously going to develop their IT skills, that goes without saying. Things like QR codes and, uh, and, and the fact that we're using iPads as a learning tool and not just for something that we play games on is what we are aiming for. We don't have to waste time photocopying because we can put the uh, slides that we're sharing, the worksheets, the, the information, the resources straight onto Shobi without the need for uh, spending time at the photocopier. There are so many different apps that support different areas of the curriculum, uh, from art, and music, to computing and English, spelling, maths. There is so much there that it would be uh, impossible to list them all here. We're going to explore a few as we go through the presentation. There are various options on the iPads that will help support children who have other barriers to learning. So, for example, children with dyslexia can change the colour of the background to make the uh, make it easier to, to see and to read. Um, children can use various different apps or zoom in on uh, text to make it easier for them in so many different ways. We've also found that the children are really engaged. There's very little passive learning in the classroom because it's right there in front of them. And the teacher, through the use of Apple teacher, or Apple classroom, sorry, can control and see what is happening in the classroom. One of the uh, main fears and concerns we hear is uh, that the iPads will replace the traditional skills and the parents are worried that their child is going to spend all day on an iPad. We'd like to absolutely assure you that's not the case. The iPads uh, are used maybe through the day. There'll be lessons where they're not used at all. Uh, there'll be yes, lessons where they're used for the whole lesson, but they are always used to support and improve and enhance what the children are already doing in terms of their traditional skills. So if they are uh, learning writing uh, or a particular type of writing, then the iPads will be used to support that, to uh, improve their writing. Um, the same as the uh, case for all other subjects, which we'll explore uh, in the next couple of slides. 
we use the iPads to deepen their understanding and to uh, hook children in and, and make it more engaging. We use the iPads as a, as a different way of recording and um, accessing information and, and researching. We can offer feedback to children in a, in a much, much more effective way than writing in an exercise book. It also cuts down on paper use. Uh, the children are still recording their learning in books the same as they always would have. They're still using pens and pencils in the, in the same way they would have previously. The iPads are there to enhance all that and, to, and improve it. So I'd like to explain how we are using the iPads uh, across different areas of the curriculum. So firstly, in writing, we use them to develop vocabulary. We use them to research topics that the children might not know much about. We use them to look at websites, videos, uh, similar texts that might help the children to see um, what it is they're aiming for at the end of a writing topic. We can use them to edit and improve their own writing. We can share ideas. Uh, in the classroom on the on the big whiteboard by sharing them on Apple Classroom or on Shobi. We can use voice recordings for those struggling writers. Here you can see where the iPads have helped to build towards a writing topic. They've used the iPads at the beginning of the topic to find out more about the Blitz, to research Anderson shelters and Morrison shelters. They've found new vocabulary and explored that vocabulary, found out what it means so they can use it in their writing. That all leads up to the, the end of the topic where we actually turn those ideas into a, into a piece of writing. And that build up helps the children to produce a much, much uh, better piece of writing. In reading, the iPads are invaluable. We suddenly have access to thousands, hundreds of thousands of, of uh, pieces of writing, of texts, of books that we can access for free on the internet through programs just like Epic, which you would find on your child's iPad. Children are able to change the page color and the font size, they can zoom in. If you're on a website, we can switch it to Reader View to get rid of all the distractions around the edge to make it easier to read. We can access audiobooks. the children have headphones so they are able to sit and listen to a story being read to them. On the right, you can see uh, how this was used in a shared reading lesson. We were reading Perseus and the Snake-Haired Monster. We used the iPads to share those pages of the book, meaning we only needed one copy of the book. The children could then access that, uh, that page that was photographed, and they could then highlight it, picking out bits of vocabulary, picking out sentence types, looking at how the author has used certain techniques and explore those together as a class. That has then led to the, the, the traditional a response in a shared reading class, those follow-up activities where the children can then um, practice those skills of uh, vocabulary, of inference, of explanation in their follow-up work. Maths has been a particular success when we've introduced the iPads to a classroom. It allows the teacher to share the lesson slides, which seems like a simple um, thing. However, what this means is that children can return or move forward as quickly as they need to. It means that you can focus in on a particular question or answer and look at that together, share that on the board, look at misconceptions or uh, good ways of working as a group. We can give instant feedback through Shobi, which is then sent immediately to the children. This can be done via a voice note or through more traditional uh, written um, feedback. The children can uh, then respond to this themselves using a voice note or written feedback. The children can move back to a slide. So if you recorded your modelling at the start of the lesson on how to uh, solve a particular calculation or how to work through a particular calculation, the children can return to that and listen to your teaching again. This gives the, um, the feeling that there's more than one teacher in the room. There are so many different apps that support arithmetic and times tables and problem solving that children can be stretched or supported in the most appropriate way very easily. Here you can see how the iPads were used during a maths lesson. At the beginning of the lesson, we shared the slides, we shared the questions together and we worked through them. We were able to show our working uh, directly onto the slide, onto the iPad, and then share that. We could then put that up on the board and look at particular answers together. 
and investigate where maybe there was a misconception or maybe there was a mistake. Look at different ways of solving a problem. We could then work through the problems together and demonstrate uh, for each other and find different ways using the, uh, the children and the teacher's knowledge together. The children are then able to move at their own pace so the children can move on to the next slide and move through their fluency at a pace that's suitable for them. This allows the uh, teacher to then go and support the people they need to support the most or to move those on quicker who maybe need more of a challenge uh, sooner. Those children that uh, work through the fluency very quickly can get straight onto the problem solving and ensure that everybody is working at the right level of challenge throughout the lesson. This then translates into the book work that you can see on the page. So the traditional skills of setting out calculations of working uh, uh, in columns is still there in every math lesson. A real positive is how we can break down barriers to learning. So children that may find areas of the curriculum challenging can be helped in so many different ways. We can voice record onto texts. We can change backgrounds and fonts. We can use the speak the text option. We can use the reader view to make it clearer. We have the ability to set differentiated learning far more discreetly so that children don't feel as though they are doing uh, something different to those around them. We can use the translator for children that maybe struggle with English as a first language. The options available to those children are um, incredibly useful and incredibly powerful for breaking down those barriers. We've already seen children who are reluctant writers feeling far more confident because if you make a mistake on an iPad, you can delete it. It's a bit different to writing on a page where many children feel a fear of failure. So breaking down those barriers has been a hugely positive um, outcome from introducing the iPads. So as well as English uh, and maths, we can use the digital technology to help us support the wider curriculum in amazing ways. History, RE, geography can be brought to life with programmes like Google Expeditions, which allow us to explore the world, go back in time, visit the Taj Mahal, bring a World War II soldier into the classroom. Music and art are brought to life with the iPads through apps such as GarageBand, where children can produce uh, and manipulate their own music uh, in digital form. Um, we have various art apps which bring art to life in new and exciting ways um, and start to open uh, children's eyes to the idea of graphic design and computer-aided design. There are many other apps that um, help to look at the ways that we can um, explore artists, we can research artists, we can look at uh, work um, of existing artists. So the endless possibilities um, in terms of music and art are something we really want to make the most of. Computing is um, massively impacted by having the iPads um, in the classroom. We can teach the children about e-safety on a daily basis. This is such a big part of their lives now and so important that that constant reminder of how to stay safe online is absolutely vital. We can also use the iPads when it comes to home learning. So if we are setting homework each week and it's been set through Shobi, this allows the children to become really proficient in their own uh, learning at home. It means that if in the event of a lockdown and your child was sent home, we can effectively deliver the learning in a much, much improved way. The final thought I'd like to leave you with is that digital learning aims to improve what we already do and not replace it. Thank you.